Hi, it's Thermal Imploder, and today, guys, well, we have a lot of patch notes. Now, yesterday's video was all the hero stuff, and so check that out if you haven't seen that. But well, the reason I'm doing two separate videos is because if we, um, if I did them together, it'd both be 20 minutes long. So we're just going to hop into it right here. Um, so here we go. So Sledgehammer 70 says, "Hi everyone." We're excited to bring you the next patch for Stars Battlefront 2. In this update, we've added a mix of requested features and fixes, as well as some brand new items. First off, we've added additional locations to Custom Arcade, Kashyyyk, Hoth, Endor, Crait, Jakku, and Death Star 2. We're also launching a new game mode, Jetpack Cargo. This fast-paced mode sees players jumping around in jetpacks wielding rocket launchers for the entire round. This mode will only be available for a limited time. So check for availability to make sure that jump in and give it a try. Also for a limited time, we've added three new hero appearances to the game. Specifically, the Hoth appearances for Luke Skywalker, Leia Organa, and Han Solo. You can preview them in their respective character customization screens under appearances. They will be unlockable through a series of in-game challenges that will be available over time. Stay tuned to our channels for more information. This patch brings a lot of balanced tweaks and bug fixes to heroes, classes, locations, and game modes. A significant tweak has also been made to dodging, and for fans of arcade, we've made a substantial improvement to the AI to make the experience more engaging. Lastly, all players will now receive two default emotes for their troopers, instead of having to unlock some before you can join in the fun. So get out there and start expressing yourselves in the game. We've got all the changes below, and as always, we appreciate all your feedback. The Star Wars Battlefront 2 team. So the Heroes and Mer Villains um, one that I all did yesterday, so make sure to go see that video. But today, we're doing all of that other stuff. So, general improvements and bug fixes. Um, there's location bug fixes, classes, special units, infantry, dot, dot, dot. Okay. So here we go. We're going to get started in classes, special units, and infantry combat. The dodge ability has been proven to be too powerful, which was not our initial intent. Dodging granted far too many benefits, like damage reduction, the inability to, in to transition into a hit animation. Ignoring lightsaber damage, and the ability to be targeted by lightsaber closers. In order to handle this, we added an unstaggerable window during a set period of time. When you dodge, you will see, you will still receive the same benefits during that window. But now you have a narrow time in which the, you gain those benefits. Now you'll need to time your rolls better and predict attacks. While testing these changes, we feel good that the results so far, and we really hope that you do too. This is a chance that we will monitor closely. A change that we will monitor closely. All classes fixed an issue on blast rifles in the S5 weapons that can be toggled with a high zoom level through dual zoom, where the scope glint would always appear when zooming. It now only appears when the dual zoom scope is equipped and toggled to its highest manufacturing level. All troopers have now received two default emotes. Reduce the time it takes until you can shoot after executing a melee attack, assault Vanguard shotgun, lowered start damage per bullet from 14 to 12, sadly. Assault CR2 fixed an issue with inconsistent super success triggers comparing to the other blasters, compared to the other blasters. Um, heavy supercharged sentry revered the heat per bullet tweak made for patch 1.1, pat from 0.17 to 0.15. Officer Blurg-1120 uh, um, lowered start damage from 37 to 35 and end damage from 20 to 16, so sadly the Blurg has been nerfed again. Now, Milestones. Milestones are now claimed automatically upon completion, making an impression, change criteria criteria from 25 to 10 kills, starting heavy training, change criteria from 10,000 to 2,500 score, stay true, change criteria from 40 to 20 kills, starting assault training, criteria change from get 5,000 
assist score with scanner up to 50 targets scanned. Location design balance changes. Camino. Phase 1 and 3 in Galactic Assault has been made easier for attackers. Tatooine. In Phase 1 of Galactic Assault, we adjust spawn points, added cover, and tweaked the out of bounds area to make this phase easier for attackers. Hoth. In Phase 2 of Galactic Assault, we adjust spawn points to prevent players from being targeted by the ATAT. Naboo. Phase 2 of Galactic Assault has had balance tweaks. Endor. Galactic Assault has extended the fallback timer from 30 to 45 seconds before the attacker's spawn points are moved forward. Location design bug fixes. Jakku fixed an issue in Galactic Assault where the out of bounds warning message would not trigger correctly under certain conditions. Jakku tweaked the combat area on Jakku in Galactic Assault in order to prevent an exploit where players could circle around the map with the ATST. Jakku fixed several collision issues. Endor fixed a bug in Galactic Assault that caused the Endor ATAT orbital strike to break. Endor fixed a bug in the strike where players could spawn outside the combat area. Trade added delay before attacker spawns are moved forward in Galactic Assault. Trade fixed several collision issues. Takodana fixed a bug in Galactic Assault that prevented the First Order ETSD from being available in Phase 1. Hoth fixed a bug in Galactic Assault that prevented players from passing through doors when retreating during the last phase. Kashyyyk fixed an issue where players could get stuck between containers. Kamino, mobility improvements on platform ledges. Yemen 4 fixed an issue where both that could reach restricted areas, sadly. Fixed an issue where grenades could fall through the floor on Nabu and Kashyyyk. Fixed various collision issues across all locations. Fixed issues where players could get outside the intended play areas of various locations. I officially hate dice. No, I don't hate dice, but, like, because it makes sense that they're doing this, but I love bugs. You guys know me. Um, if you've been subscribed for uh, at least a few weeks, you guys know that I love glitches like that. Um, and I'm very sad that they're doing this, because it also it means more work for me, too, because now I need to go check um, every single glitch that I've ever done and see... Did they fix it, um, or, like, change it and make it so you can't do it or not? So, I'm going to hope they didn't do it to any of my glitches, but they might have, of course, and, well, yeah. So, now, the next thing is fix an issue where AI units could move through, would move through objects in arcade. Fix an inch issue. Um, or environmental fire damage would not cause high enough damage to players standing in it. General improvements in bug fixes. Fix an issue where players would not receive credits for duplicate star cards. Players who encountered this issue previously will re retroactively be awarded with the proper amount of credits over time. Increased credit payout for duplicate items common from 200 to 300, uncommon from 400 to 600. Rare from 800 to 900, epic from 1,200 to 3,600. Increased the glow of Lash Bolts to make them look more vibrant. Increased the dismemberment probability of the B1 battle droids from 20% to 40%. Reduced the stretch bloom effect for a clearer image. Improved the glow thickness and lighting of lightsabers. Ewing when firing uh, from the gunner position. The gun muzzle flash and blastable are now shown properly. Fix an issue where the camera would enter a bad state when being the target of Darth Vader's choke. End of round. Fix an issue where the map would sometimes overlap with the intro video in Starfighter Assault. Fix an issue where the wrong loading screen would be seen when loading a level. Fix an issue where some menu options would disappear under certain conditions. Fix an issue where the camera would stutter when spawning with a hero in custom arcade. Fix an issue where the ATRT repairability did not work correctly. Fix an issue where players would not get the heroic sacrifice scoring event when defeated by a hero. Fix an issue where Darth Vader would not take any damage from Luke Skywalker's push ability if standing near a wall. Fix an issue where the AT AAT would take too much damage from colliding with surrounding objects. Fix an issue where turns and grenades could inflict damage after the round ended. 
Fixed an issue where players would not receive score for grenade kills made after their character had died. Fixed an issue where a friendly First Order ATST showed up as an enemy on radar. Fixed an issue where players could survive when knocked down from a platform in Heroes vs. Villains. Fixed an issue where players could equip class specific store cards to other classes. Tweak the colorblind settings to make squad members easier to distinguish on the minimap. Fixed an issue where Brawler Boost card didn't refresh some ability cards. Fixed an issue where players could force respawn during the heroes vs. villains intro sequence and respawn in a new location. Reduce the amount of battle points you received when attacking the objective on crate with a sky with a ski speeder. Fixed an issue where the character would disappear on the client. After combat rules, fix an issue in the campaign where the weapon HUD wouldn't indicate when aiming at an enemy. Fix an issue where the AI troopers in arcade would constantly melee attack each other. Fix an issue where assault troopers in arcade would attempt to use the scanner ability as a regular weapon. Various bug fixes in arcade, several performance and stability improvements, fix several lo lo localization issues. Um, various UI improvements and bug fixes, trooper crate cost decreased from 4,000 to 3,000 credits. Now, known issues. These issues are not fixed, but they know and they are working on them. You does not break out of several immobilizing abilities when using presence. Darth Vader's punishing group star card effect is not applied when choke is used. Fence targeting marker from Deadeye will sometimes persist after the ability effect has ended. Emperor Palpatine's first basic, basic and secondary attack deal no damage. Yoda's Field of Force Star card description is incorrect. Yoda's Master of the Force Star card does not work as intended. Ray's Mind Trick ability can affect players further than intended. Ray's Farsight Star card is increasing inside range more than specified in the Star card. EL16 HFE Scope Glint does not appear with dual zoom equipped and is toggled to the highest. Magnification. If you open a crate that grants duplicate item and it shows the old value for credits rewarded, you need to restart your game client. You did the fact get the new reward amount, but the client will show the old values in the UI until you restart the game. And then he edited it and basically just said the same thing um, again. So, or some part of it. But yes, so. That is all of that. So, um, again, if you haven't seen all this other stuff with all the heroes, I definitely recommend you go ch check it out. Um, yeah, it was yesterday's video, so make sure to go check that out. And, yeah, so consider subscribing if you haven't. Like the video, help support the channel. And, yeah, I will be seeing you tomorrow.